What is up guys, it is Josh from The Revolution and we're straight in with some training and uh, the, the training basically what I want to do is um, I want to mix it up a little and bring in a different player to start training and that player is Gabrielle instead of Icardi um, the main reason I want to swap out Icardi um, because Icardi has been scoring fine he's been playing well, he's been doing well He's just overly been playing well. Um, he, there's not many problems with him because um, <laughs> he's playing well, as I've just said multiple times. But there is a problem with that Gabriel because he he missed like an absolute sit of the other game, and he, and if we scored in that match, I am pretty sure. Pretty sure we could have got a result out of that, either it be a draw or a win. But um, I'm happy with the train. I've put up to Vidal's train drills up to two, just to try and get him improved even more. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like he's dribbling in a GLC may go up this time round. It depends. Um, but yeah, hopefully the team can continue to get better. Um, his agility, uh, his dribbling went up, but his agility isn't quite there just yet. Um, but um, it should be fine in the. Uh, it should go up. Sorry, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to do a quick squad report, um, just so everyone can see where we're at. Um, pause it. Feel free to pause it if you wish to look at the stats even further. Um, Han Danovic hasn't gone up at all. Miranda, he'll start to decrease because he's 32. Like very slowly though, hopefully. We have Toby Alderweireld. Um, he's stat his stats are going up. Flipping neck. His stand tackle is ninety. Um, there's Lovran. He's also rising up as well because he's playing well. Uh, there's Lars Bender. He's got stats are going up. Obviously Julian Weigel is uh, because we have, have him in the training drills. Yao Mario. His stats were going up because he's young and we had him in the training drill. Wow, we got his crossing up by six. There's Marcelo Brozovic. His stats went up on the rock uh, because he's also in the training drill. I was going to say of his own accord. Um, Ivan Perisic, we don't play him much, so his stats aren't really too good. Um, we've got Benega, who's sat on four assists. Not bad, not bad. His stats haven't gone up or down. There's Icardi, he's gone up two overall since we took over uh, at Inter Milan. Uh, then we have our backup goalkeeper, Dig Di Gregorio. Uh, his stats have gone up stupidly, especially his positioning. They've gone up plus eight. Um, we haven't been training his kicking yet. Um, Gabriel, he's gone up one. Muriel. Uh, and Saldi's starting to go down a little. Uh, so is Candreva, which is sort of a sad thing because Candreva's been playing really well for us recently. Um, Felipe Melo, Felipe Melo, or Felipe Melo. His overall's gone down because we don't play him at all. There's a youngster, Bakayoko. He's uh, going up. Looks pretty decent. I don't think he'll be able to get into the first team while we are here. And then uh, this is the rest of the squad. Yeah, quite a lot of plays on loan, I must say. None of them are looking too promising though, apart from Di, Gen Di Gena Gennaro um, and Manangia. The rest of them aren't looking. The rest of them don't look too promising, but um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get into the next game, shall we? Actually, in fact, before we get into the next game, it's actually another training drill, so we definitely know. Vigil's agility will go up this time. Uh, it looks like his ball control will go up as well, which is always great to see. Um, the reflect uh, positioning of De Gregorio should go up. The slide tackle of Brozovic should go up. Hopefully we get some overall growth soon. Um, did we get any this time? We did not, but Vigil's agility went up, but his ball control did not, because he got an F, unfortunately. But... That's what the training's there for. And now we shall get to the next match, hopefully, if there's no more training drills.
We are in the game now, and uh, here is our starting lineup. It is normal as usual because we've been playing some decent form recently, I must say. Um, so there's no changes from the uh, first team eleven um, that we normally have fielded for the past couple of games because um, they're all in superb form at the moment. Um, we'll get a look of our opponent's team in just a second, which is Kagalari. Sorry, not the best at pronunciations, as you probably could tell. There you go, Kagalari. And um, they've got Isla up oh, there in the. I think he's a right mid, isn't he, Isla? Oh, he's, le he's on the left. Either way, he's a. Th well, they're all going to be a threat, since though. Um, we got turned over by. I think it's Bologna? I'm not too sure, but. Uh, let's get straight into this game. Um, this mo this is a must-win game for us because we uh, we're second in the table, but we uh, are definitely dramatically falling behind the le league leaders, which are uh, Juventus, who obviously have. If you've not watched the past couple of episodes, I would recommend going watching them because you basically see them to um, my team part, which was quite sad, but it's. It's the reality, unfortunately. They definitely did tear us apart. There's no getting around that. They was just superior in every way. So, um, yeah. Fortunately, you will not be seeing Eastlough for the rest of the match because he got crunched in our box. Uh, let's bend them with a the ball. Oh, what a, what a save. I was going to say, what a goal, though. The opportunity... Oh, I was going to say it's not still alive, but what a ball from Lars Bender that was. Cagallari with some good interchanging play. Uh, oh, they've managed to find it out on the right. Luckily, lucky not to get the ball there. Miranda with the clearing header. There's not much been. There's not been much worry from Cagallari this game, um, as there hasn't been much worry from me this game. As I say that. They managed to win the ball back, thankfully, as I said, not much worry. We managed to pick up the ball and lose it again. As they come flying down the left now, hopefully we can win the ball back. But It's been quite a boring game so far, because there's not been much for the other keeper to do. I think that's the first proper thing the keeper, either of our keepers has had to do all game. Come out and punch that. But yeah, the defender could have got it anyway, so it wasn't exactly threatening to the goal. But they still managed to keep hold of the ball. Thankfully, we've picked it back up. Benega! Oh! That's the first opportunity. Like, I was so switched off with that from commentary-wise, like live commentary-wise. Because we've, we've just not been getting into decent areas. And then one just appears out of nowhere and just catches me totally off guard with the commentary. But... Uh, it came from Kandreva, I must say. He's been quite quiet this game. Um, just like the rest of both teams, really, as we uh, win that back. Hopefully we can launch a decent attack here um, with a Bene with Benega. Um, Icardi sees the run from Kandreva. Cut inside, Kandreva, and it's blocked. We're coming to life now. We are coming to... We're sparking into life. Hopefully... We can get something from the resulting corner. Um, to further, it's Miranda. No. Oh, that, and it fizzles. No, it doesn't. Comes back to Dejan Lovren. To Brozovic. Brozovic smacks one. And there's a player injured on the floor for us. Uh, I don't know who that is. But it's not looking good. Cardi picks the ball up and gets his back straight on the get attack. He's just weaving in and out. Penalty. What? How is that not a penalty? Oh, that's not looking good for that player. He's just limping off the pitch. I think I may have to substitute him. Pegalari have uh, picked up the ball on the edge of our box. Um, oh, oh, it's blocked for a corner for Cagallari. That's the best chance they've had in a while. Um, but we've just made some substitutions because Miranda is injured, so we've brought on Murillo as a backup, and we've also made the normal changes. <sighs> that should have been a goal, if I'm to be honest with you. Well, that was really close. Cagliari picked the ball, just nicked the ball off us from a squandered chance, and it's 1-0. Oh, that was so undeserved as well. 
No one, there's no one deserves to win this game. Nobody. It's been such a dead game. I think there's only been like two highlights and they've mostly just been from me. But we have to get back into this game now, unfortunately. Undeservedly, but then that's football for you. But now you get to Icardi. Icardi is through. No, he's not. He's now. He shoots. Oh, and the keeper said Perisic. Get that on to your left. No. Penalty? What's he giving? Oh, he's giving a free kick to them. Whoa, oh, referee. Come on, mate. Come on. Cagliari have been given a free kick right on the edge of the box here. This is gonna, this is definitely gonna secure the win if they score it. I think that's just secured the win either way. And there is the loss. Another loss. We cannot be doing this. And there is the confirmation of Miranda who got injured. Uh, he's out for three weeks, unfortunately. And we are back with some more training. I. Uh, Hmm. Well, we'll keep it the same for the time being. Um, looks like we're going to get some more improvements on Vidal. Um, no, oh yeah, we improve. It looks like we could get improvements on everybody by the looks of things, like stats wise. Um, did we get the ball control we got from Vidal, which was good, but. Still no overall growth um, from what I could see there. Let's uh, get into the next match where hopefully, actually, let's just take a quick look at the table. The, oh, excuse me. There is the current table. We are sat in a Champions League spot at third place um, with 15 points, which I'm not too happy about. Um, we, wait. Okay, we've played an extra game more than Juventus. I was going to say, wait, did they lose? But they've still not played. And the teams below us still haven't played. So they have a game in hand on us. So if they win, if Sampdoria win their next game, they will go above us and uh, join Bologna on 17 points. But it's not looking good for us, guys. And I'm thinking we may need to get rid of Avakandra over of Perisic. And more so I towards Perisic because he's not been doing much for this team. But let's get into the next game. We are away today and there is the confirmation that Sam Doria have gone above us. And um, it looks like Milan drew. I th no, they won. Sorry, Milan won. Um, but we are away at Atalanta today. Um, we are the away team here. And... Um, yeah, this is the Atalanta team that we're up against there. D, D Alexandro, I'll, uh, the right winger for them. I think he may be a former like, player of ours. He, his name definitely rings a bell. Uh, sorry for the lack of knowledge, even though it's not been too long since we did get rid of him, if, it, if he was. Um, I've not played this game in quite some time it's been quite some time since I recorded the last episode uh, which I forgot to apologise about sorry by the way guys but here's our starting 11 um, as you can see now Miranda and uh, Kandreva has been dropped down to the bench just because of how unactive he was um, I felt like he was the most absent out of all the players we had compared to the other ones um, but without further ado let's get this game underway so you can go build up player. Bender. To Benega. Benega's free. Benega with his left foot. Oh my gosh, near enough under three minutes and we would have taken the lead. Great play. Great play. I think I think we can get the whip the rebound win as we tend as we've done for the past two episodes before this one. Uh hopefully we carry on the trend. We're on the break now, we've managed to get through Brozovic. Low cross. Benega, or whoever it was, Conkor, managed to cut the ball out, unfortunately. But another chance that we seem to be creating. Um, another chance that was better than the last game. Some good play. Benega's managed to nick the ball. Finesse shot. And Benega just get it in there. Come on, what are you doing that for? Just strike it. Oh, that's a, another wasted opportunity from us, I must say. Now Atalanta have come bursting down the left with Gomez. Let's hope this doesn't amount to anything. They whip the ball in. Straight to D'Alexandro. What a save, Handanovic. Oh my gosh, that could have been easily 1-0 to Atalanta. Now let's see what they can get off the corner. Absolutely nothing. 
Mario wins the ball back. Fake shot. Into Perisic. Perisic. He tucks it away to remind us that he's still here and that he's a valued member. Or he's hope, hopefully can still be a valued member of this Inter Milan team. That's the first thing he's done in some time. We are finally 1-0 up against Atalanta. Let's hope the goals continue to come. Atalanta are through and it's... Oh my god, I was literally about to say it, And it's 1-1. How on earth did Grassi miss that? It was, it was just like a complete hole in our defence and he should have been putting that away. We're on the break now, Vicardi. Vicardi spots the run from Benega. Benega takes it inside. It's Benega one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Finesse shot. This should be 2-0. It is 2-0. We're back to our attacking strength. Hopefully, we're back to our best and we do not throw this away, this away in the second half. If we can keep it to 2-0. We should do. And we should keep it to 2-0 before half before we go in for the second half. There we go. There's the uh, half-time whistle. We don't look as comfortable as we should be. Like, it seems to be getting quite a lot more possession than us. There's only been five minutes since the second half kicked off. But, um, as you saw, they, they was on one of their attacks that they've been on. They've been on a couple since the half has kicked off. That was our first attack of the game. Uh, second half, sorry. That you saw, obviously, can't have been the second attack of the game because we scored two goals. But, um, but yeah. Uh, they, they seem to be having a lot of the ball. Get, get the tackle in. Oh, my golly gosh. <sighs> Father's just going to creep in round the post there. Come on, boys. We're winning 2-0. Let's keep... Like, don't keep this performance up. Let's get back to the way it was in the first half. As Jao Mario gets snapped. Gotta be at least a yellow card, that ref. There we go, he knows how to referee. Well, and Spender doing what we brought, what I bought him for, driving it forward, and he wins us the corner. Let's whip this ball in. Murillo. Murillo, still Murillo, hits the volley, he's come out to record it. Oh, Zukanav. Who's it clear? Oh, what a bad pass that was from Yao Mario. What on earth? We're in deep trouble, Andre Gomez. <laughs> I told you we didn't seem comfortable this second half. And it just got proven the <laughs> what a celebration. <laughs> oh, what was Mario doing? He had all the time in the world and he just squared it straight to the Atalanta player. Now Atalanta are back in this. That's one of my major fears. Throwing this game away. We just handed them a goal. We come on the attack for Cardi. Cardi sees Benega making one of those deadly runs in. Benega has been shoved off the ball, uh, eased off the ball, and we uh, get a corner from it somehow. Back in by Icardi. What a save from Sportello. <laughs> We've got to see a replay of that one. Cracking header from Icardi. And this quality save from Sportello. Murillo, can he get a goal? Yes, he can! Hopefully that settles and calms the nerves of the team. It should well do. We're 3-1 up now. There's a very slim chance we can let them back in the game. Unless Yao Mario fancies playing another ball. Straight to the counter-attacking like forward. Then we're in deep trouble if he decides to do that again. As they come straight away from kickoff on an attack. Straight through to Andre Gomez. And it's 3-2. Oh my gosh. They've literally just... Oh no, no one followed the run. Oh, what? That was an easy goal. Easy, easy, easy goal. And now we're back. <laughs> we're back into the, like, having to, to play it calm. Can we get a goal like they did? Benega seems to be doing pretty well as he gets dispossessed. I think while we have a throwing, we uh, will definitely make some changes. I think we'll take off Weigl for Philippe Mello, um, just to help secure that defence just a little, because we seem to be a bit on the nervy side. Bring Jovetic on for um, Perisic. I forgot his name for a second there. And we shall bring on uh, Renatia for Brozovic just to add more defensive players into the fold. 
because we seem to be getting picked apart quite easily at this moment in time. I just hope that those changes also just don't take our attacking threat off because we have been attacking pretty well. Um, it, they shouldn't do. The key players are still up on the field. In fact, we've added a few or um, more deadly attacking players as Benega just gets completely wiped off the ball though. Dayan Lovran. Lovran! Oh, what was Dayan Lovran doing there? I tell you what, he was nearly another do, and he was nearly getting as a goal. Jovetic just come on the field when he gets amongst the action straight away, but this is the nervy time because Yao Mario, last time he was in this predicament, he, uh, he gifted them a goal. And we clean up with Murillo, thankfully. Oh, we could get a goal yet. Yeah. Icardi seems to be through. He cuts in on to his right foot. Benega, he's through. Benega! Oh, he's luckily sent the keeper the wrong way, but he still near enough made to save the keeper. But I think he hit the opposite side. He dove of the goalkeeper there, Benega. I'm not too sure, but it was unlucky on Sportel, I must say. No, I have not a clue what went on there. Hopefully we get a... There, this is a better angle. We can see what's going on. Oh, it's hit. It's hit the bottom of his hand and, and gone in. But that's the second goal for Benega. He's, he's had a pretty decent match today, I must say. Uh, I th he's got an assist also, uh, at least, off the corner for Murillo. Please don't let us concede again. Let us keep it down to two and get a decisive victory, as we do. We wrap it up 4-2. Thankfully, we are victors. We bounce back again for the third episode in the row in the second game of the episode. This has been episode 7. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. It's been Josh from The Revolution. I'm going to end it right here with a hop, skip and a jump. And I shall see you guys in the next episode, which shouldn't take more than a week to come out this time. Hopefully I'm not making any promises, but um, my schedule isn't that busy for the time being. So fingers crossed we shall be ready to release episode 8 or record episode 8 in the upcoming days. So I shall see you then. Signing off. Adios, guys.